I'm sorry. I must have overslept. Good morning, Jeannie. You made breakfast all by yourself. <laughs> oh, how clever of you. Well, help yourself. Is there any mail for me? <laughs> Who'd be writing to you? Oh, Omar Khayyam, Julius Caesar. Oh. No, I'm sorry. It seems to be all for me. Oh, here's a reminder about the television show tomorrow night. What show is that, Master? Oh, uh, once a year, the American Air Force bases all over the world have put on a talent show. I mean, they pick a contestant from each base. Oh, that sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going to beam the show on Telstar. They have uh, someone broadcasting from Alaska and Hawaii and here at Cape Kennedy. The winner gets a trophy. Oh, good. We will put it on the mantle. What are you going to do? I'm going to sit in the audience and applaud. Oh, but you must be in a contest. <laughs> well, what would I do? Well, does it matter? Well, yeah, a little. Well, you can do anything. Uh, no, no, Jenny. You can do anything. <laughs> and don't. Oh, but the mantle needs a trophy. Well, <laughs> blink one in. I'm not going to be in that contest. Now. I know you can sing. Have you ever heard me sing? Oh, yes, you have a beautiful voice. Oh, come on. Dear. Sing something, Master. Oh, come on, Oh, no, no. Please, oh, please, sing something from the opera we saw last night. Ooh, a rigoletto? <laughs> really? Uh -huh. Okay, why not? La donne mobile, quando il me viento. Yeah, well, that's... Oh, that's beautiful, Master. Yeah. <laughs> Think something else. Uh, Please. All right. Uh, why don't I try a, a light scale? Mm -hmm. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Did you see that? Sorry, but I don't believe it. Uh, good morning, Dr. Bellis. Uh, Major, uh, where did you learn to sing like that? Oh, it's a, it's a gift. Well, I've heard you sing before, but it didn't sound anything like this. Well, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. <laughs> uh, Major Nelson, do you mind letting me hear that voice uh, again? I'd really rather not, sir. Well, you see the strain uh, just in the a few and... notes. Well, I, if you don't mind, I'd... I'd uh... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> La 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 Fantastic. I think you might say that, sir. Well, is there anything I can do for you? Well, um, uh, I had some forms for you to fill out, but uh, with a voice like that, you mustn't waste your time. <laughs> I'll see you later, ain't you? Speak to you. <laughs> yes, Master. No. No what? No, I'm not going to be in that contest. Oh, but you must. How will I look if some other genie's master wins? <laughs> well, I doubt if that'll ever come up. Now, just forget about the contest. If 
You say so, Master. Yeah, oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. You're going to blink that voice away, and you're going to promise not to bring it back, or I won't forgive you, I swear. Oh, but it was such a lovely no, no, voice. Uh -uh, and... Jeannie, no, I'm not kidding. But no. I... Uh, please. Mm. <laughs> Very well, Master. I promise that you will not sing like Caruso again. <laughs> Goodbye. And that makes you happier? No, it just makes me feel a lot safer. Usually, when you do these things, I get into a lot of trouble. Luckily, this time, there's, there's been no trouble. And, well, if you promise not to do it again, we'll just forget about the whole thing. Yes, Master. Oh, oh, Master, when will Major Healy return? Uh, he ought to be back tomorrow. Look at this. Oh, good. Then I will find out when my birthday is. Yeah, I, I've got to get back to the base. Would you clean up all this glass and that stuff? Huh? Oh, certainly, Master. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Caruso? Tony Nelson's got a voice like Caruso? That's right, General. I heard it myself. Well, that's hard to believe. Well, General, no one's more surprised than I am. I don't know what happened, but as you know, I'm somewhat of an opera buff. Yeah? And I'm telling you, Major Nelson has one of the greatest voices I've ever heard. And you think he ought to represent Kate Kennedy on a television show tonight? Yeah. I've already entered them. We can't lose. <laughs> now, you ought to know. Boy, I'd like to get that trophy. It would look awful good. Up on the mantel. In the officer's club. <laughs> That's what I thought, you know. <laughs> what did Tony say? Oh, I haven't told him yet. Oh, but he'd be thrilled. After all, it's quite an honor to represent the Space Center. Yeah. Oh, I want to see his face when you tell him. <laughs> you entered me in what? <laughs> Please, Tony. Oh, sir, I can't sing, General. I really, I can't sing. I admire your modesty, Major, but in this case, believe me, it's misplaced. You have a voice that even Caruso would have been proud of. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to find somebody else to represent Kate Kennedy, sir. Well, I don't understand. I thought you'd be proud to be up there giving your all. Uh, that's just it. It's not my all to give. <laughs> you have the only voice I've ever heard that shatters glass. He did that? More than once, I saw it. It was, it was an accident, sir. Just an accident. Uh, believe me, if I went out there, I'd be singing under false pretenses. Why would you? <clears throat> I, I don't have a trained voice, sir. I don't have any control over it. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Tony, I have my heart set on this trophy. Now, you're going to go in and you're going to win. Oh, General, I... Uh, they, I, 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 I had this cold coming on. I feel it's going to get worse. We can't let that happen, can we, Doctor? Oh, no. You go home and take care of it. Oh, well, I'm in good shape tomorrow night. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll certainly try. Uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, good, good. Go. Oh. Master, Master, your dinner is ready. Do you want it? What are you doing, Master? Committing suicide. How did you catch your death a cold like that? That's the idea. Oh, well, you did not think I would let you catch cold, did you? Gee, do you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to catch cold. Oh, I could not let you do that. <laughs> As long as I am your genie, you are going to remain in perfect health. <laughs> and so, my fellow members of Congress, I say that on this great and glorious 4th of July, we should commemorate the magnificent pioneer spirits of those who blazed the trail for us. Those who sent us on the march to victory! Master? Mm. Master, it's three o'clock in the morning. What are you doing? I, I'm just reading a little. Your voice sounds hoarse. Does it? Yeah, oh no, I feel fine. You go to bed. You sure you feel all right? <laughs> I never felt better in my life. <clears throat> in 1776, when our brave forefathers took this first magnificent step towards liberty and went into battle, 
It was because they heard the voices of the oppressed crying, Help! Oh. <laughs> Help! 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 Good morning, Master. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Oh, as a matter of fact, I didn't. I didn't close my eyes once last night. I spent the whole night coming to a decision. Oh. What decision was that, Master? Well, I decided that since I can't get out of the contest, I might as well go in and win it. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you, Master. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I kind of enjoyed singing like Caruso. <laughs> Did you? Mm. As a matter of fact, I think the trophy ought to go right here. Well, perhaps a nice vase would be better, Master. <laughs> I have a trophy. La, 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 la. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Wouldn't Dr. Bellows and General Peterson be surprised if I sang like that tonight, huh? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead? Yeah, you know, um, Lincoln Caruso. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> no what? No master? Yeah, uh, Jeannie, I want to sing like Caruso. Thou canst not. Who said I can't not? You did. Oh, remember? You made me promise that you would never sing like Caruso again, and you said that if you did, you would never forgive me. Jeannie, don't, don't uh, listen to what I told you. Listen to what I'm telling you. Oh, you were yelling at me. Yelling at you? you uh, this is a whisper, Commander. If you want me, I will be shopping. Shopping? In Baghdad. Jeannie. <laughs> don't do this. Jeannie! No, come on! No! Listen, see. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Jeannie! What is... Oh, what did you get back? A couple of minutes ago. Uh, what are you trying to do anyway? I'm trying to break that. You can't break that? No. Would you like some help? You think you could? <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, where's Jeannie? I'd like to tell her about her birthday. I gotta... She went shopping. Shopping? Yeah. Hey, look, why don't we get dressed up tonight and have a little celebration, huh? I'm sorry, I'm busy tonight. Well, doing what? I think you better sit down. I don't want to sit down. I'm singing in the Air Force contest tonight. You're singing That's in... That's right. Why don't I sit down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're sitting... You're singing in a contest with your voice? No, originally it was somebody else's voice. Now, you may find this hard to believe, but yesterday I sang a lot like Caruso. Now or when he was living? <laughs> I'm serious. Jeannie. Jeannie? That's you mean right. Jeannie gave you Caruso's uh -huh. voice? Uh-huh. Well, maybe she changed it back again. Why don't you sing something? <clears throat> All right. La da name of <laughs> that desperate Roger. If I, if I don't sing tonight, General Peterson and Dr. Bellows are going to think I'm letting him down. Yeah, and if you do sing, you'll be lynched. Do you realize about 30 million people are going to be watching that show tonight? They'll probably laugh themselves to death. Thanks. Thanks, Roger. I needed a friend like you to come back from the Arctic and wait tell me really where I'm straight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't have to sing tonight. Oh, you don't have to sing. I just solved your whole problem. Hi. Oh. Catch cold. Catch cold. Catch cold. All you have to do is take off your clothes, stand in front of an open window with a fan on you, put your feet in a tub of ice water. I'm out of ice cubes. I already tried it. You're out of ice cubes. Catch cold. Jenny wouldn't let me. Wait a minute. Oh, are you lucky to have me for a friend? Look at this. Now, just read out loud at the top of your voice, and I guarantee you, within one hour, your throat will be cut. That's right. Tony, you got a problem. Oh, why can't Jeannie make you sing like Caruso again? Because one of the greatest minds of our time made her promise not to. Huh? What do you do now? I don't know. I don't know. Do I do I throw myself on the mercy of General Peterson, or do I jump in front of a truck? Jump in front of a truck. Honey, <laughs> maybe. 
90, 100. I feel guilty about this. I should really give you odds. Come in. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you know Tony. you're busy. Come on in, Tony. We were just talking about you. Oh, uh, just talking about me, sir? This is General Brill, Edwards Air Force Base. This is Major Nelson. Oh, how do you do, sir? So this is the Golden Thrush. <laughs> the Golden Thrush. <laughs> you know, I was telling him about you. As a matter of fact, I just bet $100 on him. A hundred dollars? Well, a hundred dollars is nothing. You're right. Me. You want to make it 200? Oh. You're on. <laughs> I was telling General Brill, he's in for a big surprise tonight. Yes. You think we ought to give him a little sample, or uh, shall we save our ammunition? No, I think we ought to save our ammunition. <laughs> right. Excuse me, Tony. Yes. Yeah? What? What? Well, if you tell them if they're not able to do the job properly, they're not fit to be officers representing this command. And I personally will see that they're transferred to duties elsewhere. Ah, Tony, my boy, that trophy's gonna look wonderful <laughs> sitting up there on the mantle in the officers' club. Or else you're gonna have a very unhappy general on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you gentlemen will excuse me, please. Off to rehearse? Uh, no, sir, to find a truck. <laughs> I wonder why they didn't ask me to sing that contest tonight. I wish they had. Oh, hi. Uh, have you heard from Jeannie yet? No, but I've heard from General Peterson. Raj, we're going to have an accident tonight. <clears throat> I, uh, I think you've had an accident already. No. No, I mean we're going to fake an accident. We're going to go out to the country club for dinner tonight, and on the way, we're going to have a flat tire or a bump a tree oh, or... Oh, I get it. You don't have to show up the broadcast, and nobody blames you. Good thinking. That's right. There's only one thing. What? We'll use your car. <laughs> oh, gentlemen. Oh, I'm glad I caught you. Caught us? Right. Uh, yes. Uh, have you made any plans for dinner this evening? We're, yes, we're going out to the country club. Yeah, they have a lot of accidents on that Roger. road. Oh, uh, why don't we all have dinner together? What, the three of us? Yes. Uh, no, no. Uh, Raj. Uh, yes. Uh, then we can go back to your house with you while you change, and then we'll escort you to the studio. Oh. We wouldn't want anything to happen to you tonight, would we, Major Nelson? Uh, uh, sure. Shall we go? Come on. I just be in the way. Now, Major Nelson, during the rehearsal, I want you to. Major Nelson. Yes. Hey, look at all this anyway. I feel like I'm in show business. Oh, uh, Mr. Hennessy, uh, just a moment. Uh, this is Major Nelson. How do you do? Uh, Major Healy. Sir. Uh, Mr. Hennessy will be your topmist. I was getting worried. Oh, I'm sorry we're late. We had two flat tires and almost hit a tree. <laughs> Uh, I'm afraid we aren't going to have any time to rehearse, Major. Oh, that's all right. You probably don't have my music anyway. Why don't we just forget about the whole... Well, you told me he sang opera. Hmm. Oh, I can play the areas from any opera ever written. Wagner, Verdi, Bizet. What would you like to sing? Do you know Melancholy Baby? <laughs> Melancholy Baby? <laughs> Good old Tony always kidding around. <laughs> Gentlemen, we only have a short amount of time. Now, how about doing La Donna Mobile from Rigoletto, huh? Rigoletto. Yeah, so what key do you sing in? F. F. Or a C. F or C. G. Uh, he has a fantastic range, Mr. Hennessy. I promise you, this will be an experience you'll never forget. Then well, come with me, Major. This is going to be an experience none of us will ever forget. But on oh, no, <coughs> Excuse me. Major Healy. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, gee, it's nice to know you've been missed. But I, I have been dying to know when my birthday is. Yeah, I bet you have. I'm sorry about the delay. But it does not matter now. When is it, Major Healy? Uh, do you remember I told you the month was in the title of the popular Major song? Major Healy. Uh, you're just going to love your birthday. <laughs> it sounded... And now, ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, we'll switch you from Hickam Field in Hawaii to Cape Kennedy in Florida and Major Anthony Nelson. Oh, you're getting ready for my master. Uh, this is your music. Yeah. And now, well, watch for the red light on that camera. And that's the stage manager. He'll give you your cue. Yeah. Uh, listen, believe me, I'm not ready. Honestly, I'm not. Oh, well, now there's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is why I didn't break that. Oh. There's nothing to be nervous about. 
nervous about it. Look, you have an eight-bar introduction here. I will be playing on the piano. Yeah. Then you come in right there. Yeah. And then when you come in there, you make sure you take that camera here. Yeah. And then everything. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all right. I got another count. Jeannie, you've got to do something. Look at him. What can I do? Well, give him back Russo's voice. I want to, but I promised him that I would not. And now to Kate Kennedy and Major Anthony Nelson. Poor devil. Oh, I can't watch. Poor Major Nelson. How does he get himself into these things? <laughs> Major Healy. Yeah. I promised him that he would not sing like Caruso again. I know. But I did not promise that he would not sing like anyone else. trophy for the most versatile voice of the century. <laughs> and my birthday? Has... You sang notes that haven't even been invented before. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't bring the trophy home, but uh, General Peterson was very adamant. He wanted to keep it to the officer's club. Well, that's you know? all right. He may have it. Major Heaty, please, when is my birthday? <laughs> oh, your birthday. Hey, when is your, your birthday? birthday? Yeah. Oh, listen, I've got a clue. Only this time, we're going to play a game. Ah, we're going to play charades. No. Okay, now, the first no. word. No. The long word at the top. <laughs> Your birthday's April 1st! April 1st! Oh, what a ah, lovely Oh, Jeannie, you're so sharp. Oh, I was only kidding. Oh, <laughs> <April 1st. laughs> 